Dear friends in Christ, welcome to the Liturgy of the World with Father Evaristus Ege Meyer Abu. Today is Saturday, 15th of June, 2024. It is Saturday of the 10th week in Ordinary Time. Today we delve into the teachings of Elijah and Jesus, exploring themes of succession and oaths. Today's first reading tells the story of Elijah handing over to Elisha, while our Gospel passage today continues Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, wherein he teaches us to avoid swearing. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty, ever-living God, you said that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from your mouth. As we feed on your word today, we ask that you grant us the grace to understand what we read, to believe what we understand, and the wisdom to apply the lessons we learn today in our lives. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Today's first reading is taken from the first book of Kings, chapter 19, verses 19 to 21. Our responsorial psalm comes from Psalm 16, while our gospel passage is taken from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 5, verse 33 to 37. First reading, a reading from the first book of Kings. In those days, Elijah departed from Mount Oreb and found Elisha, the son of Shephat, who was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen before him, and he was with the twelfth. Elijah passed by him and cast his mantle upon him, and he left the oxen and ran after Elijah and said, Let me kiss my father and my mother, and then I will follow you. And he said to him, Go back again, for what have I done to you? And he returned from following him and took the yoke of oxen and slew them and boiled their flesh with the yokes of the oxen, and gave it to the people, and they ate. Then he arose and went after Elijah, and ministered to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is you, O Lord, who are my portion. It is you, O Lord, who are my portion. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my God. Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup, you yourself who secure my lot. It is you, O Lord, who are my portion. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord before me always. With him at my right hand I shall not be moved. It is you, O Lord, who are my portion. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad, even my flesh shall rest in hope. For you will not abandon my soul to hell, nor let your Holy One see corruption. It is you, O Lord, who are my portion and cup. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Bend my heart, O God, to your decrees. Grant me mercy by your law. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Again you have heard that it was said to the men of old, You shall not swear falsely, but shall perform to the Lord what you have sworn. But I say to you, do not swear at all, either by heaven, for it is the throne of God, or by the earth, for it is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not swear by your head, for you cannot make one hair white or black. Let what you say be simply yes or no. 
Anything more than this comes from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus, honor to Mary and Joseph. The Eighth Commandment teaches us, Thou shalt not bear false witness. Telling lies is a disease capable of destroying whole families and even nations. In today's Gospel passage, Jesus teaches us to avoid swearing. Let what you say be yes or no. How do we avoid swearing? One way we avoid swearing is by becoming a person of integrity. The book of Proverbs chapter 22 verse 1 says, A good name is better than riches. Be known for being truthful. There is never a right time to lie. Get used to saying the truth. It is a testament to your role as the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Remember that God is truth. Since no one can fight God, no one can fight, hide, or suppress the truth. If you tell a lie today, get ready to tell a thousand more lies to defend today's lie. We cannot fight the truth. It must come out. Somehow and someday, the truth will surface. There is no need to swear at all. If you have said the truth, so be it. Calm down and relax. Truth is capable of testifying to itself. So let what you say be yes or no. There is no need to swear. There is no need to try to defend the truth. In fact, most times, people swear when they lie because they themselves do not even believe the lie that they have told. And so they want to swear or they want to add one or two things to it to make the person that they are telling the lie to, to accept it. But if you have said the truth, you don't need to swear. You don't need to add any more story to it. Because you know that even if they don't believe you, eventually the truth will speak for itself. Even if they kill you, the truth will speak for itself. Our first reading today narrates the call of the prophet Elisha. Elisha was walking in the field as a farmer when Elijah passed by and cast on him his mantle. Having completed his mission and following God's command, Elijah handed it over to Elisha. In truth, success without a successor is a failure in disguise. Some persons do not want to leave their office. They want to remain there forever. They are not thinking about a successor. They are not thinking about training someone to take over from them. Let us learn from Elijah, who, upon receiving God's instruction, appointed Elisha to take over from him. The moment Elisha sensed his calling, he took the yoke of oxen, slew them, boiled their flesh, and gave it to the people. They all ate, and then he rose and went after Elijah and ministered to him. Interestingly, this is exactly what Jesus required of Peter and the other apostles, including the 70 others. Jesus also required this of the rich young man when he said, Go, sell what you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and then come and follow me. Mark chapter 10, verse 21. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, make us persons of integrity. May our yes be yes, and our no truly no. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. 
Amen.